What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video of Local Outdoors. So we're gonna keep this video quick and simple. Right here with me, I have the Glock 19X. And we're gonna be talking about the number one cheapest and easiest modification that you can do to this gun that will make you a better shooter. So stay tuned and let's get to unboxing. All right, so let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy. Now let's go ahead and, oh yeah, these are loaded right here. These are loaded, but I know this one shouldn't be loaded and just so you guys can see. Bag is empty, gun is cleared. Even show y'all again so y'all can see that. We all can see that. Yeah. Cool. Nice. Anyways, guys. So this is the Glock 19X, alright? I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have seen this gun. A lot of you guys have used this gun. A lot of you guys haven't even bothered even touching it. So the number one mod that I recommend to everybody right now is to go on Amazon. Get yourself these little grips right here. They're called Handaway Grips. I believe they went for like $13, guys. And they are amazing, man. I'm telling you, they make two of these. This is a sandpaper version. A lot of you guys might not like this. I actually saw a couple of reviews on there. People were saying, they're too rough, blah, 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 this, blah, blah, that. I didn't care about that. I love the way that the sandpaper look of this, how it just kind of reflects off looks with the gun itself. I think the color scheme is pretty badass. Um, I saw the rubber versions. I actually have used this company before. It's called Handover Grips, guys. And I actually have the rubber one. I'll show you the rubber one real quick. I have the rubber one too, guys. I actually put the rubber version on my uh, TX22 competition. And I'll show you that right now. So you guys can kind of get an idea of how it looks. All right. This is the TX22 competition. This is a little 22 long rifle gun. Gun is cleared, empty. Also safety is on, so we're good. So as you guys can kind of see here, this is the rubberized version. The cool thing about this Taurus version for the handle grip, it did come with some kind of color scheme on the bottom that I put on there as well. So you can kind of gives it a cool little outline and it matches the gun. So I, I thought that was pretty cool. But um, yeah, this is the rubber version. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm just not a big fan of how, you know, like it still feels kind of slick. Now this is a 22. So it didn't really bother me too much considering there's no recoil on this gun. It, I just honestly really didn't care too much about it. It didn't bother me too much that this rubber the way it was. But um, for something like a nine that does have a good amount of recoil, I had to get that sandpaper version. I think it's really cool. But look, I'll even show you the difference in it. You can see it right away. This is the rubber and this is the sandpaper version. Look at the rubber. Look how my finger just slides on that sandpaper. I mean, guys, this is literally sandpaper. I think they did a great job with this. I love the look of it. I love the feel, and it honestly did improve my shooting. And what I mean by that is, as y'all saw, I uploaded a short not too long ago, and I was shooting some steel targets. I think there was five targets, and guys, I was missing nonstop. It took me forever just to even get those shots in, and I still missed one. I only hit four out of five, so I still missed one. It wasn't that great. As you'll see in this video later on, you'll see that one, the shooting and the recoil and the handling is way better with these grips on. Just because of how grippy it is, it really does help you control that recoil. And two, I just think it looks fucking sick, bro. So I highly recommend this as one of the biggest upgrades you can get for your 19X if you want to. If not, then you know, keep it the way you like it. But I think this looks amazing, guys. This thing just looks beautiful to me. I love the way it just brings the gun out a lot more. With this new color scheme that I have going on here. And also on top of that, you can also buy yourself like a little back plate. Of course, I got this little one on Amazon. It's a steel Texas logo gold back plate. I didn't think it was going to be this shiny, but oh well. I just put it on there. Might as well. I'll change it out later. And another thing that I did, guys, was just I just painted the Glock logos here with some acrylic white paint. And uh, yeah, it gives a nice little finish to it. You know, I think this gun looks pretty cool the way it is. If you guys don't believe me, I'll go ahead and play this video now and you'll kind of see the difference. If you guys want to see me missing and how terrible my shooting was, you can go ahead and look at my shorts and I'll see it there or I'll probably upload it. So yeah, guys, without further ado, let's go get to shooting and you guys can see how much of a difference this freaking grip tape makes it is aggressive again but i mean yo it helps out a lot way better than the rubber version in my opinion so uh yeah let's get to it Whew. it's hot today boys stupid hot range is hot bro so yeah guys let's go ahead and i'll show you guys real quick how much of a difference it makes and uh yeah go from there Damn. Hey. That was a smooth ass fucking run, bro. That was a smooth ass run, as you guys can tell. I mean, y'all remember last time I was here, what, two weeks ago, a week ago, when I was using this gun, this exact gun, without the freaking grips. And I'm telling y'all, it makes a big difference for that recoil control. You just feel it, guys, and it just sticks to your freaking hand. I mean, I'm telling y'all, if you haven't bought this yet or put this on your gun yet, I highly recommend y'all do. It's one of the cheapest and easiest attachments you can put on your gun, and it's super simple, man. It's literally just grip tape. Yeah, I was hidden. So, uh, yeah, man, highly recommend these. Let's keep shooting and having some more fun. Left one, one shot. Right one, one shot. Left one, one shot. All right, yeah, go for it. We'll try to see. No, bitch. There you go. Bitch ass. Dead. So you did four shots. Dead. 
So I'm going left, right, left, right. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. You got one out of four, right? All right, it's one, two. Fucker, come on. That's four. That's four. That's four. That's three. Huh? That's three. I don't know. The first one, I hit the stick. Oh, you hit the stick? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, shit. All right, all right. Fuck, oh, come on, bro. Four for four. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm keeping up. Come on, man. <laughs> Two. Oh, so we're going for five now. Okay. No, nah, I knew I only had one left. <laughs> all right, all right. I guess do the same shit. You should have the same thing. <laughs> By one. You got one. Fuck it. I gotta reload again. Hey, we're neck and neck. We're neck and neck. Shoot it ready. Beep. <laughs> All right, just real quick before I go, I'm gonna try something that I've always wanted to try and that you found interesting. When I was a kid, you always see gangsters going like this. Really anybody that was cool, this was the, the kill motor, if y'all know what I'm referring to, but uh, yeah, this was cool, I guess. And this is how they would shoot. All right, let's see how they shoot. Oh my God, my wrist. Where's it even going, do you see it? I'm basically, I'm literally aiming down here, bro. Cause you said it was mad high. So I'm bringing that bitch down, down, down. And I'm literally down here. Of course I can just go down, but I didn't, I don't want to shoot the ground anyways, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that's so fucking awkward. Who thought that was a good idea? Listen, you were shooting two, two feet to two, and two feet and a half high. Bro, who thought that's a good idea to shoot like that, bro? Who in the world? Yeah, we picked good timing, bro. I mean, this, don't get me wrong. This feels great right now. Like this, it was so damn hot. And now we're leaving, it's all cloudy. That was good, but man, that, that woo, I kind of want to get rained on right now, bro. I want to let it happen. But uh, what do you mean by that, bro? I thought you fell. I thought you. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, <laughs> there you go. There you have it. There are some good clips. I feel like my my shooting got a lot better this time than last time. Um, I really think it's that grip. I don't know. It was just. Something about it made everything different. That grip just really helped me control that recoil more. But yeah, guys, like I said, I mean, I personally like the grips. Jose liked them too. He thought they were pretty good. What do you think about the grips, yes, sir? Nine out of ten. For sure. Nine out of ten. Right. He's I'm even... pretty sure once you break them in, they a one. Right. A one. Yeah. So there you have it, guys. Honestly, I think they're worth it. Personally, for me, again, I loved them. They were great. I felt like I was shooting a lot better. Um, if you don't like the feeling of grip tape or sandpaper, then don't buy them. It's just personal preference. Again, thank y'all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed today's little video. Of course, stay shooting, stay free, stay reeling them in. Loco out.